Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Katie, Karen Birchill. If you like the pages you're going to see, please subscribe to my channel. You are looking at my finished nine by 12 art journal. And I'm going to do a flip through of this. It's kind of a year in review. It took me about a year to get the 30 pages in here. But before we get going on this, I just want to show you where this starts. I, for years, have used the Canson Mixed Media Art Journals. And I work, in a year, I work on a 9 by 12 and a 7 by 10. Those are my favorite sizes. The 7 by 10 is a quick, easy one. This one, if I want to develop more background, more texture, I work larger You will note that these are 98 pounds and there are 60 pages. And I take them off the coil. Here you can see I've taken off the coil so I can work flat. It's just easier. I've got the solid structure of my table underneath and it prevents the mess of the pages I'm working on getting on some of those finished pages. And then when I'm done, after I have 30 pages, I put it back on the coil. And I will link the video where I show how to take it off the coils and how to put it back on, the do's and don'ts and the tips and tricks. Now, if you were listening, you'll notice that there are 60 pages in here and I coil it when there are 30. And you can see how much those pages bulk up once you've put paint and modeling paste and gesso and thick gesso and stencil butters and collage papers. So the video showing where I created this cover with all this beautiful texture has just been recently released. I think it was a 2024 release. And you can see, I love the color scheme, the Naples yellow with that pink. The, this is a napkin. And one of my favorite sayings and one of the things that I'm trying to do, be where your feet are. As we go along, I'm going to share with you a thumbnail sketch of what I did on this page, but know that there are tutorials in my channel for every page that's in here. So go to Art Journal Pages 2023 and you'll be able to look for the picture of the, of, of the page that you might like, and you will get a full step-by-step -step tutorial at that time. So this was my, one of my first attempts at grid journaling, and I absolutely love the colors here and how this all came together. This is a free printable that I just added to turn the grid journaling into a page. There's some texture paste on here. This one, we have a napkin, a printable, so we're mixing and matching. Use your stash, Use don't just use one napkin. Do you have a printable that goes with it? I like the dark black background against this bright, vibrant yellow. One of the things that I do, that I use my art journal for, it's, a, it's all about experimenting and playing and creating and using your creative energy. So the purpose is already achieved, but I will flip through this and look and I'll say, oh yeah, I love this color scheme. Oh, I love this. And, or this really worked. So I might try to duplicate that on a new page, change the color scheme. So sometimes I look in here for more motivation or inspiration, I guess. This is a more recent one, very different color scheme using Naples yellow and burnt sienna. This circle is a colored coffee filter. 
that I have in my stash. I love using them as collage papers and I love leaving them as circles. This was a, I believe, public domain photo that has been in my stash forever. And I've just layered up them in a different way with a fun layered background. This one, such fun in the background, stenciling with white on the top, one of my favorite 2023 um, techniques, using magazines, using free printables, again, mix and match. And that's why we build our stash. We have collage papers, we have printables, we have photos, we have whatever we have in our stash, but then we have to know what we have and make a point of using it. This one, hanging with my peeps. This is a napkin. On the back, I believe there was a rice paper that gave the color scheme, the pink, the yellows, free printables. And turned an Easter napkin into a non-Easter page necessarily. So this one, a magazine pictures, girls, collect them. Rip out those pages of different size girls. You could always use them with a snarky or sassy comment. These were die cuts. I think I um, cut them out of paint samplers and that determined the color scheme. Speaking of color scheme, get a color wheel. The colors that are next to each other on the color wheel will blend well. You will not make mud. Colors opposite the color wheel are going to work well together. They may make mud, but if your focal image is yellow, your background could be these colors and it's gonna come alive. This was a digital print with a uh, picture from a calendar, great source. This was a napkin. So we've got a calendar, a printable or digital art or digital stamp, as well as a napkin, some stenciling. And here we have, we have this color and this color. I'm going to leave that here so we can talk about it. Looking through here, if I'm needing inspiration, I can flip and say, oh, I really like that color scheme. And then that might be enough to get me started. Here is another grid journaling ex experiment. And I'm using this color and the purple with black and white. As I said, all the tutorials for all these pages can be found in my channel. So if you're looking for tutorials to give you inspiration, please, please check it out. This one I love. I made a colorful background with teal and yellow in there. They work really well together. This is an actual flower that I then put the head of a printable on there. FYI, all the napkins that you see have been, that have been used in my videos come from ninniesnapkins.com and there is a brand new coupon code for 2024 in the description box. So please go and check Ninny's napkins out. This one I did last spring. Tulips experimenting. Again, Naples yellow. And we have the reds in there as well. If you like tulips, you may want to go check out my digital kit, Tulip Joy where I show how to make a page that's similar to this. There's a lot more to it. I show you how to make your own stamps. I give you stamp patterns and I give you options. So you're not just making a nine by 12, you can make an eight by 10. 
um, a card, you can swap it up. This one, again, was a free printable. Very, very colorful background, but we're all over here. And then I have some teal in there with stenciling right across. And this is what I mean. If you your background is here, you know that the colors that are over here are going to really, really pop if you use them on the page. This, this started with a very rainbow colored napkin on the background. The frogs are a different napkin. And this came from a magazine. This, I just kind of mixed and matched. What if things go right? These, this was a napkin that I cut in a circular shape and then I collaged it onto the background and used a magazine girl. I love quotes and using quotes in my art, which is why I have created as many sentiments as I have. And then I've turned it into a digital download that you can purchase at ninniesnapkins.com. I have over a dozen sentiment packs, different themes, and I'd love for you to go and check them out. You can look at the pages, see which sentiment pack speaks to you, and you can add that to your art. This is another grid journaling, and I really have to get back to grid journaling. I love how you can test out a color scheme and play with it. And if you like what you see here, then that might be something you would use on an art journal page or on a canvas. So when you do the grid journaling, you're doing little sections. It's like, I really like this, or I really like this one. And then you can try to use that, what you learn by grid journaling on your art. Everything we're doing in our art journaling is all about experimenting. So either you're going to win and you're, you feel good about it, or you're going to learn. And really, that's a win too. So here is another one. You might recognize this napkin, but I did it differently. This one has some texture paste through a stencil. The napkin's down here. I've left the Easter eggs in, and it's a very neutral background. I just want to find the other one. So there we have one and the other. This or that, same but different. And again, you see that purple and the yellow, they are across each other on the color wheel. That's why that really works on these pages. This one I was experimenting with a gel print and then some stenciling in the same color with other gel prints in between. And just some fun collaging, adding, this is stenciling, adding it to the magazine girl. And again, sentiments from my collection. I absolutely love this page. And this page, pretty much as it is, I is on the list of ones that I want to take and do on either a wood panel to have, have a wall hanging or on a canvas. I just love how it works together. I use the TCW Tacky When Dry um, medium and their foils to get that little bit of sparkle there that I just think is so adorable. And again, we have, here's the color scheme. We've got the green background and then we have this and that's right across. So it's no magic. So if you don't have a color wheel, buy one. Download one and print it off if you've got a color printer. It's well worth it to have it as a reference guide. 
love this. There's texture, there's pattern. It's neutral, kind of vintage. Julie Nutting Dolls, I love using those. They, I've utilized them so much. Good investment into in my stash. This one, we've got lots of texture. Modeling paste through a stencil in the background. This, again, was a colored coffee filter that I put a napkin on. We've got lots of layers, but I'm loving the jewel tones of this one. And you know, when it's a canvas or a page, you've got that texture in it. Oh, I love that. This one, I was sampling a technique using stencil butter on tissue paper and then being able to put it on here. Magazine Girl. Stamp, stencils, all that good stuff. This one, I used clothing tags. That's what you see here. Some of them are full size, some of them are ripped, and that gives some texture to the page and adds another element to it. I added a, I believe this was just was a printable that I colorized. And again, this sentiment comes from my Through the Garden Gate sentiment pack. This used some scrapbook paper and then using that as the start, put texture and created a background that goes with it and a sentiment from my Ocean Commotion sent sentiment pack. I'm just going to turn this This one, I created a background. I believe this was a rice paper from Stamperia. And then I used the colors that were developed here and created a galaxy feel. Use, I think this is a stencil from, I'm not sure who, can't remember. I've had it forever. It was one of the first stencils I bought years and years ago. There's no planet B. This one, not one of my favorites, but you know what? I love the layered snowflakes. These were mini focal images from a napkin that I put on a film strip. The film strip was a free printable. The heart wants root, the mind wants wings. I think this is from my Winged Wonders Center. The Earth free printable magazine picture, a free printable or a stamped butterfly. Again, that layering up. And a color scheme, red, blue, and red, yellow, red, and blue. The primary colors. This was a magazine, and then I added the circle napkin here and just changed up the, the words. Created a background that looks, or I want it to resemble a Christmas tree. Like this is an ornament that I'm hanging on the tree. This is a more recent one. The cattail is a printable from supercoloring.com. I get a lot of my printables from there. They are, some of them are free domain. Some of them you have rights to use them for personal use. Colored coffee filter. And just stenciling, mixing wet on wet colors. And again, I use colors in this. I use the magenta and the yellow and then you get everything in between. But you know if they're next to each other on the color wheel, they're going to blend beautifully and they're going to make other tones. This one, very vintage in the background. Lots of texture paste, all those yummy things. Pattern, texture, color. And then the hydrangea is from, you guessed it, from napkins. 
This one, obviously, I did early in this year. We've got the boots, I believe, were a printable. The tulips come work from several from a couple of the same napkin. Often in a napkin, you get four of the same print if it's not an all over print. And I just cut it apart and made my own arrangement. Love this one. Again, this was a printable. This came from a calendar. There's texture. I've used pink and purple with white stenciling on top. And then I have a little modeling paste dragonfly in her hair. So that brings us to the end of my flip through. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which page did you fall in love with? Which one tempts you to try to find the video and follow along? Or which one just inspired you to do your own thing? Maybe it was a color scheme you saw. Until next time, go get creative.